going to get into some short bonus stories to fill up countdown since we surprised you and did it early. First we have one by I Post at Midnight called Not All of Us Snap. It's weird, I told the investigator, how these things always seem to happen when some big national scandal is going on. Everyone gets distracted. How well did you know Mr. Walker? Not very. He worked in that cubicle, but hardly ever spoke. Quiet guy. I'll bet you hear that a lot, officer. Notice any unusual behavior? Uh, before you shot up the mall? Nothing much. Thank you. If we have more questions... Uh, oh, wait! He had two phones. Every morning he'd place one by his keyboard, like a ritual. Don't know why. In two years, I never heard it ring until the other day. Walker nearly fell off of his chair. I saw him answer, and a minute later, he just left the office. Forever, as it turned out. Maybe he got some bad news? I swear, the investigator stared at me for a full minute. Then he nodded noted my cooperation, and moved on to my co-workers. That was a while ago. Not long afterwards, I was working late when I heard a phone ringing. I tracked it to Walker's desk drawer, beneath photos of his daughter. It was the spare phone. I answered the call. Like they knew I would. They said they may call again someday. And then they explained why I would answer in graphic detail. I'm very quiet these days. I come to work, pull out the phone, and place it where I'll be sure to hear it if it rings. Beside my family's picture. And then I check the internet, praying there aren't any big scandals breaking. And when there are, I pray my name hasn't reached the top of their call list yet. <laughs> 